for beginners. Today we are talking about my favourite events. I'm an idiot. Oh, good day guys. You've just interrupted me looking for an event because in this video today, we're gonna learn all about events. But before we do, of course, as always, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget the little bell as well so you get notifications every time I do a new video or go live with trivia. Also, after my last video, I've noticed how many people love trackable. So you will find at least one trackable in every single video from, from now on, including this one. All right, let's get straight into it. We're gonna talk about events. Now, my first event that I ever went to was about six months after I started, and I was worried about going to an event. I didn't know anyone else there. I was by myself. But geocachers are that friendly. They love, we call them newbies. Don't take offense. <laughs> so I went to my very first event, and I was greeted by a, a gentleman called Aries44 and his lovely wife, Mrs. A, we like to call her. They had a little spread of nibblies and food and, and biscuits and cake and Oh, geez, it was young. And the first thing they said is, are you a geocacher? I said, yeah, yes, I am. I'm, I'm new. This is my first event. They said, what's your geocaching name? I said, it's See My Shell. They looked at me strangely. And they said, See My Shell? We always thought that was a woman. And from then on, Mrs. A and Aries 44, and there's a whole group. Where they've become so close, good friends of mine. We've traveled around Australia together. We follow each other on social medias and we always keep in contact with each other from then on. And that was six years ago. The first thing I can say is don't worry about events. Don't freak out about it. It's okay, you're a new person, you're a beginner. That's okay. We love beginners, we love new people. So when you turn up to an event, don't worry about it. It's all gonna be good. So there's four things that I think personally you can get out of going to a junior caching event. The first thing is getting tips and tricks. That's right guys, have you been around your area? Have you have one cache that you just cannot find? You know what, if you go to your local event, I can guarantee probably the CA will be there and maybe give you some little hints and tips as to where that cache actually is. And you know what, you go back, whew, and it's found and it feels so good. But not only that, we're talking about hints on puzzles. Geocaching puzzles can be so daunting and so hard. Even the multis can. But either way, you get hints and tips and tricks as to how they do these puzzles. And if all else fails, have a look in the description because I have a link to Cully's book, How to Puzzle Cache. <laughs> Brilliant book, brilliant book. Number three is that you will find you will get caching buddies. Like people you can actually go out geocaching with. I was going out by myself, sometimes not knowing what to do, not talking to anyone you'll gain some caching buddies. They're the people that you will say to yourself, hang on, have you got an hour free or have you got a whole day free? But most importantly, number four, and that is guys, you will make brand new friends. And they are good friends too. These people are good people. Why? Because they're like you and me. They're in, they've got a goal, a common goal. They've got an interest, a common hobby. So they enjoy talking about their common hobbies. So what I'm saying is you're gonna make lots of new friends. Now, speaking of new friends, <sighs> I've got a few new friends all over the world because of this hobby as well. And again, guys, I've got the link in the description for my favorite geocaching vloggers, 
They're so much fun. Actually, you know what? Let's let's hear from one now. Friendly friends and geocachers, my name is the Bruce Zero, also known as Jeff, and I run the YouTube channel called Cache the Line. I make geocaching videos, and as always, it's about happy caching and excellent adventuring. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Neil Moore, and I'd like to invite you to check out my YouTube channel, Cache Tales with Neil Moore. If you like going on geocaching adventures, check out my channel and go along with me, and we'll go find some great geocaches and some great locations. Hi guys, Geo Paul here. Just introducing my channel on See My Shell, the Aussie Geocacher Craig's channel. What can you expect from watching my videos, basically? Um, wackiness. Basically, I'm going underground, I'm going overground. Even though I don't like heights, I still do it in the name of geocaching. We are based in Surrey, Sussex, London borders in the United Kingdom. So we have got a right mixture. Rural geocaches, urban geocaches, flaming wacky geocaches, let's be honest. But guys, check it out. And yeah, there's nothing else to say. Apart from, catch you next time. Go check it out, guys. Um, my name is Rachel. My name is Paul. And together, together we, we are, are the, the Curious, Curious Kiwis. Kiwis. You can find us on our YouTube channel, just type in the search bar, The Curious Kiwis. Or on Facebook, The Curious Kiwis. You can also find us on our Instagram page, The Real Curious Kiwis. Or on Twitter, The Curious Kiwis. We'll, we'll see, see you there. there. Bye. <laughs> so you have Neil Moore from the US of A was on there. Joe Paul was on there as well, all the way from England. Cash the Line from Canada. And of course, The Curious Kiwis from across the ditch in New Zealand. And that's just a selected few friends that I've actually made. And as I said, not just local, international. Okay, let's talk about the different types of events, because there are several different types of events. The event that you normally would go to is your, just your local event. A local event is just held in it. It could be held in a pub. It could be held in a club. It could be held outdoors in a park. It can be a picnic. Anywhere where you can get together just with a group of friends. Just talk about geochat. After that, you have your bigger events as well. You've got your mega events. Mega events consist of 500 people or more. They are huge. But then there's one bigger than that, and that is the Giga event. That's right, guys, a Giga event. Yes, I've been to one. Good old Cincinnati in 2018. Hmm. There were some memories. After that, you have another very special event with its own little icon, and they're called a CITO. C-I-T-O, CITO event, and a CITO means cash in, trash out. So it's basically like a, a clean up uh, event, or you're enhancing literally your own backyard, your own playground, by either planting trees, helping out bush care people, getting rid of rubbish, and just being a good general citizen to this world that we live in right now. No more plastic straws. And then you have other special headquarters event. The ones come out now after this coronavirus, our celebration events, community celebration events, and again, they have their own icon also. Going back to the Giga event 2018, would you believe it, two years ago today, as I record this video, was the Giga event in 2018. Because it's 2020 now. Anywho, I saw it on my time hop two years ago, I met literally the love of my life. That's right, I was over in good old US of A. It's a love story, I know, get over it. <laughs> I was over in good old US of A. I was actually at a geocache location. I was by myself at a geocache location. I decided to film this cache live on Periscope. I was filming and this blonde bombshell walks up to me and, uh, and says, hi, are you? and I said, are you a geocacher? She says, yes. And she says, oh, I love your accent. You're an Australian. And I said, yes, uh, I love your accent. You're an American. And you know what? We got in contact uh, like after that. And uh, now we're engaged to be married. So there you have it, guys. That is what events are about. If you have any ideas, comments, or questions, please leave it in the, uh, in the comments below. Meanwhile, if you've liked this series, click that button right there. I think it's going to be about there. That will give you the playlist for this entire Geocaching for Beginners series. Otherwise, there's other videos to watch right there and right there. So anyway, I'm getting back to seeing where my local events are going to be. This is See My Shells. Thanks for watching. I'm over and out. <laughs> where are you? Where's that, where's that hologram gone? Where's that hologram gone?